it is opening weekend of the college football season. The number 15 Texas Longhorns come to South Bend to visit the number 7 Notre Dame Fighting Irish, a new budding rivalry since Notre Dame has since removed Michigan from their yearly schedule starting next year. The Texas Longhorns quickly swooped in and joined Oklahoma as two Big 12 teams that will have Notre Dame as a rival. Michigan renews the rivalry with Notre Dame, probably starting in the 2022-2023 season. But until then, the Texas Longhorns seize the opportunity to add a prestigious school to their yearly schedule. From Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana, the game is underway. Notre Dame with the ball first. Tommy Reese takes his first snap and hands and goes play action. Finds Chris Brown over the middle who picks up a first down. Tommy Reese looking good to start the game. Finds a man open and it is TJ Jones. And TJ Jones is forced out of bounds by Duke Thomas. Tommy Reese is going to hand the ball off this time to George Atkinson the third, who's going to pick up a nice game. Third and eight. A man in motion for Tommy Reese. He calls an audible. Jenkins getting ready to blitz, but he's going to drop back into coverage. It's a screen pass. Atkinson cut down early by Malcolm Brown. But Atkinson gets back up and almost breaks it loose. But Duke Thomas is there for the stop. Zane Castle's first game coaching as the Texas Longhorns head coach, replacing Mac Brown, looking to get a victory. Jalen Overstreet, the freshman, comes in, hands the ball off to Malcolm Brown, and Malcolm Brown has a nice game to start the game. Nine yards, Overstreet dropping back for his first pass, and finds Marcus Johnson over the middle. The option, Overstreet can't get rid of it and gets leveled. Overstreet dropping back in the pocket, looks over the middle, and is intercepted by Spawn. He's taking it the other way, and it's going to take Mike Davis to bring him down. Tommy Reese comes out for his second drive, hands the ball off to George Atkinson the third up the middle for four. Third and ten after a sack of Tommy Reese. And Tommy Reese, look, it almost gets sacked, but Akeem Hicks with the takedown. And that will force the fourth down and the punt. Atkinson tried to come out on the screen, and the captain Hicks met him on the outside, bringing him down for a loss. Jalen Overstreet, first interception on his first drive as a Texas Longhorn. He comes out on his second, trying to redeem himself, looking over the middle and finds Mike Davis, the number one wide receiver and captain, one of the captains of the offense. Third down and two. Hand off to Malcolm Brown up the middle, and Malcolm Brown will pick it up on a three-yard carry. Need a two, got three. Overstreet, play action, looking over the middle. Wants to roll out, but there's nowhere to go. And Mike Davis with the reception. And Mike Davis is gone. Nobody will catch him. Touchdown, Longhorns. And the Longhorns go up 7 nothing. Mike Davis, the speed, the speedster, the senior, the leader of this wide receiving core, catches the first touchdown of the year from freshman Jalen Overstreet, putting the Longhorns up 6 nothing in this battle of top 15 teams. The offense at a glance so far at nearing the end of the first quarter plays even yards lopsided to Texas. Tommy Reese comes out for his third drive looking for something, looking for that spark, and isn't going to get it. He throws it too far in front of his intended wide receiver, and now third and ten, Tommy Reese looking. He finds George Atkinson the third, but Atkinson can't get the first down. Jalen Overstreet takes over. He's looking on the screen, but can't get rid of it in time. The Notre Dame defense swarmed him. Overstreet dropping back third and ten and finds Saunders over the middle. Kendall Sanders. Overstreet play action. Looking right. Rolling out to his right. Nobody open. So he's going to take off. Cuts it back inside. Now cuts it back outside. And the first down. 21 yard rush from Jalen Overstreet. Jalen Overstreet getting ready. Looking for the screen. Malcolm Brown out of the backfield, and this time he'll get it there. Malcolm Brown cutting it up middle. The spin move, and the first down pickup. 11-yard reception for Malcolm Brown. Not much of Joe Bergeron has been seen. Malcolm Brown, the featured back so far, and Jalen Overstreet somehow fits it into MJ McFarland. The skilled tight end, the leader, the only real tight end on the team. 
over the middle, can't get it to Mike Davis, and the Texas Longhorns will have to settle for a field goal. The Texas defense has showed up big time, 32 yards allowed in the first quarter, two yards on average per play, and Tommy Reese needs to get something going here early and often before the second quarter begins, and Tommy Reese has all the time in the world. It's going to find his man, but Turner knocks it away. What a play. He made the play on the ball, and with 22 seconds left, Tommy Reese, second and 10, dropped back in the pocket, going for the screen, and Jenkins will get to George Atkins in the third. A loss of three, and his thir third and 13 for the Irish. Tommy Reese stepping back in the pocket, forced to throw it again, looking right, rolling out a little bit. He's going deep, and Turner, this time, gets the pick. Him and Carrington Bindum both had a shot at the ball. But Turner reading the eyes of Tommy Reese. And Tommy Reese trying to throw it deep. And Turner behind. Cut off the receiver and gets the interception. Zane Castle super excited with his defense. Overstreet starting the possession off. Play action is almost intercepted. Knocked down by Notre Dame. Overstreet dropping back on third and 14. He's going to throw it. And he's got a man. MJ McFarland. First down Texas. He's going to hand the ball up. To Malcolm Brown. Malcolm Brown's going to spin back towards the middle in a nice five-yard gain. The option. Jalen Overstreet's going to keep it for the first down. No, third and inches. A four-yard run by Jalen Overstreet. The talented freshman quarterback. Overstreet hands the ball off to Malcolm Brown. And Malcolm Brown has the first down. Overstreet looking right. Looking for Mike Davis. But we'll throw it to Jackson Shipley. Jackson Shipley, a 13-yard reception. Overstreet on another play action. Looking over the middle, rolling out to his left. He's a right-handed quarterback, so he won't throw it. He'll take it, outrun the corner to the left, and he's got an eight-yard gain, third and two. A huge run by Jalen Overstreet. Overstreet is going to hand the ball off. Malcolm Brown fights his way for a first down for a gain of three. Overstreet's going to look for the slant. He's got Mike Davis, and Mike Davis with the first down. Down to the goal line. First and goal, and Jalen Overstreet will take it on the QB sneak into the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns. Jalen Overstreet having a game after that first interception. He has now come into his own, and the nerves have settled down. The Texas defense still holding Notre Dame under 50 yards. And Tommy Reese calling an audible. He's going to just hand it off to Atkinson, and Atkinson's got a little room. Third and two. Notre Dame, Tommy Reese steps back, looking to his right, no one open, so Tommy Reese just has to throw the ball away. Mike Davis, the talented uh, wide receiver phenom for the Texas Longhorns, had one hell of a first quarter, but only one reception in the second. Overstreet, play action, looking over the middle, goes back out, and it is caught by Jones. Overstreet, looking middle, looking for Mike Davis, but goes to Jackson Shipley over the middle. 258 yards for the Longhorns, to only 48 for the Irish. Overstreet, up the middle on the read option, and no one will catch him. Jalen Overstreet to the end zone. Texas up 23-0. Overstreet, showing that he has wheels, that he has speed. And Tommy Reese comes back out, down 24 nothing, And he's going to find Amir Carlisle over the middle for a gain of 8. Second and 2, Tommy Reese. Looking right, looks for and finds his man again, Amir Carlisle. Amir Carlisle with two straight receptions. And Tommy Reese and company looking to at least score something before the half here. And he's going to go again and finds Amir Carlisle. And Amir Carlisle breaks a tackle for another first down. Amir Carlisle, three catches. And Reese looking. He's going to find TJ Jones over the middle. And the Irish have something going here before halftime. Tommy Reese is dropping back in the pocket. Looking, and as goes down, Tommy Reese sacked for eight yards by Cedric Reed. Tommy Reese sends a man in motion, dropping back, going to throw the ball once again, and finds TJ Jones over the middle. A nice game, third and five for the Irish. Tommy Reese drops back in the pocket and finds Troy Nicholas, the tight end. Tommy Reese, first and ten. Looking right, finds Troy Nicholas again, and Troy Nicholas, another nice gain of seven. Tommy Reese dropping back, looking, finds Troy Nicholas for a third time, and Troy Nicholas has the first down. 
Tommy Reese and company trying to get some points here. It's going to pitch to George Atkinson, and George Atkinson will find Paydirt. Going for two to try to make this a two-score game. Tommy Reese is going to hand the ball off. Atkinson won't get it, though. Met by two Longhorn players. And the halftime score is looking like it's going to be 24-6 to unless the Longhorns can do something here before halftime. Overstreet, the draw play to Malcolm Brown, and Malcolm Brown stopped. Third and nine finds Mike Davis, but not enough for a first down. So they will have to punt. Four seconds left for Tommy Reese. Tommy Lee Reese looking deep, heaves it, but it is picked off by Turner. His second interception of the game, and not to risk anything, he'll just step out of bounds. The halftime score of 24-6, to Texas, number 15, Texas with the lead on number 7, Notre Dame. The Nissan Halftime Report is going to show you a couple of the main stats. Notre Dame versus Texas. Halftime stats. 213 passing yards for the Longhorns to 107 for the Fighting Irish. 96 rushing yards for the Longhorns to 4 for the Irish. And even time, uh, time of possession with the Longhorns having exactly 10 and the Irish having exactly 6. Two turnovers for the Irish, two one devastating turnover, the first interception by Turner, and the one turnover from Jalen's Overstreet on the first drive of the game. Overstreet and company take over the ball starting the second half. Hand off to Malcolm Brown, and Malcolm Brown off right side for seven yards. Third and three, Overstreet looking over the middle and finds Malcolm or Mike, Mike Davis for the first down. Flag down. Face mask on the defense. Dan Fox with the face mask on Mike Davis and tack 15 extra yards on to the end of that reception. Overstreet finds McFarland, MJ McFarland, the dark horse of the team. But Overstreet gets a little too confident and gets intercepted by Prince Shembo, his second interception of the game. And Tommy Reese and company are set up in good field position. Tommy Reese dropping back, looking, he's got a man. Chris Brown on the outside. First down, second and eight. Tommy Reese looking. He's going to unload it. But Duke Thomas knocks it down in the end zone. Tommy Reese and company have third and eight. Reese dropping back, looking. And Carrington Bindum with the interception. And Bindum heading the other way. Carrington Bindum, the number one corner with the interception. Carrington Bindum, the senior. Comes out and gets the interception on Tommy Reese, denying Daniels the ball. And that will set up Jalen Overstreet and company in decent field position at the 35. The read option, Overstreet gets outside, tries to spin it back in. Third and 10, Longhorns, Overstreet, five wides. Looking over the middle to Johnson. Marcus Johnson has a lane, one man to beat, and he will score. Marcus Johnson, touchdown, Longhorns. Mike Davis, uh, a hot first half, but only one reception in the second half so far. Longhorns up 31-6. to Tommy Reese needs to get something going now, and we'll find Troy Nicholas for a short gain of one. Tommy Reese dropping back in the pocket, looking deep, but will come back and find. Chris Brown on the left side, sending a man in motion is Tommy Reese. He's going to take the snap. He's looking right. He'll find this guy coming back in, TJ Jones. Tommy Reese is going to throw the ball again. Why? To, Andrew, to Adrian Phillips. Tommy Reese's fourth interception of the day. He is having a stellar passing day, except for the fact that he has four interceptions. A nice completion percentage. And Jones, Caleb Jones over the middle from Jalen Overstreet for seven yards. And Overstreet, read option. Overstreet up the middle and will pick up the first down. Overstreet, handoff, Malcolm Brown off right side. And Malcolm Brown's got room, but is tripped up by his shoelaces. Malcolm Brown gets the next handoff. Up the middle, first down. The ball is starting to be fed to Malcolm Brown. And Malcolm Brown up the middle again for a first down. Malcolm Brown is rolling over this Notre Dame defense. Malcolm Brown again off right side, and Malcolm Brown, though, on 3rd and 14, won't pick it up, and the Longhorns punt the ball away, being safe. Didn't want to give up a pick six or anything. Tommy Reese dropping back, and is sacked! Goes down by Malcolm Brown. 
Tommy Reese, third and 18. He's got to find something. And throws it. Chris Brown, but Chris Brown not doesn't get the first down. Irish punt. Malcolm Brown getting the ball again. It's just feed, feed Malcolm Brown. Off right side, and Malcolm Brown gets the first down. Malcolm Brown, who had a struggle in the first half, is now torn this game wide open. MJ McFarland over the middle. And Jalen Overstreet will pick up the easy first down off the option. Send in De La Torre in motion. Overstreet hands the ball off to Brown and Malcolm Brown. Off right side for eight. Third and two. Malcolm Brown up the middle. Another first down. And Malcolm Brown on the counter. Goes outside. Cuts it back in. And another nice gain. Third and two. Joe Bergeron checks into the game. And Joe Bergeron picks up the first down. De La Torre in the motion again. Malcolm Brown spins it inside and down to the four-yard line. Third and goal now for the Texas Longhorns. And he'll find Mike Davis with the nice one-handed reception. Mike Davis, who has had a pedestrian second half, makes a spectacular one-handed catch. And the defense for the Longhorns having a great game with four interceptions and two sacks. The Irish's defense not having a terrible one, but their offense is struggling. Tommy Reese finds Troy Nicholas over the middle for a nice first down. Tommy Reese and company just trying to put some points on the board. They just want to score something before the end of the game. Maybe two scores. At least make it a little look a little bit competitive. But Duke Thomas knocks that one away. Tommy Reese and the offense. The plays have been blown open in the second half. The Longhorns now with 23 more plays. And the Irish had to punt. Malcolm Brown off right side. And Malcolm Brown having a second half. Malcolm Brown with five yards. Third and one. And Malcolm Brown will get it up the middle again. First down Longhorns. And right now the Texas Longhorns just looking to run out the clock. Second and ten. Hand off to Joe Bergeron. And Bergeron goes to cut it outside. But there's no room out there. Third and five. The play action. He's got a man open. That is MJ McFarland, the tight end. The tight end having a huge game. And handoff, Malcolm Brown trying to get outside on third and four and won't get it. Longhorns will go for it on fourth and four just to try to end the game. Malcolm, Joe Bergeron will get the first down. Essentially ending the game with nine seconds to go. Bergeron takes the handoff for another nice little carry for a gain of five. Jalen Overstreet, the freshman quarterback, is the player of the game. And the Irish lose their first game. At home, sent into the locker room with a loss of 38-6. to The number 15 Texas Longhorns have taken down the number 7 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And you can see they missed their starting quarterback from last year, Everett Golson. And if he wouldn't have gotten suspended, this game may have been different. But alas, it wasn't. And the Texas Longhorns leave South Bend, Indiana with a victory and start the season 1-0. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish kept it close for a while. If they could have brought it into the halftime 24-8 to and then scored after that first interception from Jalen Overstreet in the second half, they may have had a shot to win the game. It could have been 24-16, to and it would have been a whole different story. But they failed that two-point conversion and then turned the ball and then had to punt the ball after the Jalen Overstreet interception. By Texas forcing Notre Dame to punt the ball, it, in essence, ended the game after that Jalen Overstreet interception. If Notre Dame could have gone down and scored, they would have had a chance to win. But Texas, you can see, dominated every aspect of the game, holding Notre Dame to negative two rushing yards and making Tommy Reese put the ball up 36 times. They also won the turnover battle by a plus-two margin, and the Texas Longhorns take home their first victory of the season Dom in dominating fashion, time of possession. Big wins around the country. Oregon and Oregon State State will stay ranked after their wins. Texas winning every aspect of the game. First downs, rushing yards, passing yards, turnovers, and time of possession. I hope to see you guys next week when the Texas Longhorns take on their next opponent. I hope you all enjoyed. 